And finally, number 10, it fails to fully fund the wall. How much does it come short? Well, President Trump asked for $8.6 billion to fund the wall. Does it give $8 billion? Does it give $7 billion? Does it give six, five, four, three, two? No. It gives $1.4 billion. Doesn't come close. Christmas came early in Washington for lobbyists. Lobbyists who are bankrupting this country. While you were with your family, while you were shopping for Christmas, the lobbyists were spending and spending. I present to you the massive omnibus bill that Congress is voting on. Tomorrow, the Senate will vote on this. 2,313 pages dropped on us the day before yesterday. Nobody's read it. There isn't a person alive who has read this piece of garbage. But it was put together in the dark of the night with Republican leadership and Chuck Schumer cutting a deal. So in this 2,313 pages, what, what is in it? Well, we don't know everything. But here's one thing. It extends the XM Bank, one of the greatest corporate boondoggles, corporate welfare. The lobbyists love it. For seven years, the XM Bank is extended with no vote on it. Number two, buried in here, it raises the tobacco purchasing age to 21. So now, our soldiers at age 18, you can be drafted to go into war. You can be sent to the front lines. You can face machine gun fire. But God help you if you want to have a smoke. Did we have a vote on that? Did we have a debate on that? Did someone say, maybe the states could set the tobacco age? Maybe it doesn't have to be the federal government. Nope. No vote. Just a deal in a smoke-filled room forcing that result. What else did it do? It funds government research on gun control. That's right. That's part of this deal, is let's now have the federal government doing research on gun control. Can't you wait from the report from the Center for Disease Control? Mind you, last I checked, exercising your Second Amendment rights is not a virus that the Center for Disease Control should be studying, but now we've got millions of dollars funding bogus studies that are going to be used to try to take away your constitutional rights. What else is in there? Continues the, the tax breaks for so-called renewable energy. Continues all of the corporate subsidies. Just slipped into the night, big Democratic priority. Do we have a vote on that? Do we have a vote on whether to continue them? Nope. Other than this big, giant spending bill. And how much is it? Well, we know it's 2,313 pages, but those pages spend $1.4 trillion. You want to know how you bankrupt a country? You want to know how you get a $23 trillion national debt? You're looking at it. Deals cut in the dead of night. $1.4 trillion. You've probably never seen that while you're looking at it right there. What doesn't it do? Well, here's one of the things it doesn't do. It fails to defund Planned Parenthood. Doesn't deliver on that priority. Doesn't deliver on that promise. It continues taxpayer money going to Planned Parenthood. What else doesn't it do? Well, fails to end Obamacare. Doesn't even try, not part of it at all. Takes care of the insurance companies, takes care of the lobbyists, but for the millions of people who are struggling to meet their health insurance costs, no help at all. What else does it not do? Fails to expand college 529 savings plans. 
and to expand education freedom. This is a bipartisan idea. This is an idea that passed the House Ways and Means Committee unanimously until the teachers union got Nancy Pelosi to do a drive-by shooting and strip it out, hurting parents that have kids with disabilities, hurting kids with disabilities, hurting homeschoolers, hurting millions of public school students who are prevented from using 529 savings plans to pay for tutoring and standardized tests. Doesn't do that at all. It fails to stop sanctuary cities. Nowhere in the 2300 pages is real leadership stopping sanctuary cities. Nowhere to be found. And finally, number 10, it fails to fully fund the wall. How much does it come short? Well, President Trump asked for $8.6 billion to fund the wall. Does it give $8 billion? Does it give $7 billion? Does it give six, five, four, three, two? No. It gives $1.4 billion. Doesn't come close to fully funding the wall. This is why Washington's corrupt. This is an example of government of the lobbyist, by the lobbyist, and for the lobbyists. And this pile of trash belongs in an ashtray.